I'd like to uh, welcome Mike McHugh, the founder and CEO of Flipboard, who came all the way like Dave just for us. Mike, are you there? Great welcome, to be here. Mike. Great to be here. It's, uh, we're really glad to have you. And um, so I, I think you had a, so first I'm a big fan. Thank such, you. such a huge fan. Who, who has ever used Flipboard in the room? <laughs> All right, that is awesome. Do you think you have some? <laughs> that some, makes my day, man. <laughs> some market Fantastic. share here. It's amazing. I huh? love it. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. So, yeah, wow. How did you get the I, idea? Well, um, it was a combination of ideas that came together. Uh, I was at Netscape uh, back in the mid 90s and um, really uh, saw the web evolve. Um, and. Um, uh, I remember, actually, after I left my last startup, Tell Me, uh, flipping through a magazine and thinking to myself, why is it that, you know, the websites that we see today don't look as good as what's in this magazine? Um, I felt like there was sort of a mission left undone at Netscape. And, um, and so I wanted to try to bring the aesthetic qualities of print to online media. And uh, meanwhile, I met my co-founder, Evan Dahl, and he was really into Twitter and Facebook, and, uh, and he got me realizing that social media was a massive new trend. And uh, these two ideas intersected, and the missing ingredient was the iPad. And for a while, we were kicking around ideas that would run on the web uh, as a Web 2.0 offering. But I was getting concerned that that wasn't really going to be breakthrough or interesting enough. And then we started hearing rumors about the tablet and uh, ultimately decided to uh, uh, focus on this theoretical tablet that Apple was supposedly working on. And, uh, and so we bet the whole company on that and um, raised money on that. And, yeah, uh, you've raised um, some money. Yes. How much? Uh, 60 million. <laughs> 60 million and a half, yeah. yeah. For one app. For one app. <laughs> <laughs> on two platforms now. Right. right. We'll talk about that in a second. That's but right. 60 million dollars for an iPad app. That's right. How do you sell that to VCs? Can you teach me? Because, uh, frankly, <laughs> <laughs> hello, I'd like to build well, an iPad app. You and have I'd to like $60 million. Is that right? You have to believe that the iPad is going to be a uh, major new platform. And you have to believe that uh, what we're doing is big enough and bigger than really being just an app. It's, it's, it's more of a um, changing the way people read magazines. Read magazines, but really read content in general. Discover, browse, and share content across social networks. And that's a pretty big mission. And, um, you know, in many ways, it, like I said, it's coming back to our earlier mission when I was at Netscape and taking that work that was left undone and, and picking it up again and, and moving it forward in a new context now on a, a device like the iPad. And why not Android tablets? Well, uh, there aren't that many Android tablets yet. Um, that's changing. Uh, the Kindle is a good example of that. Um, you know, we just had to pick a platform. And for us, um, for one, Apple's always been a major inspiration for me and for others in the company. And second, it was clear to us that the iPad was a platform that was going to um, allow us to build something amazing. And uh, so we focused on it, and we focused everybody, the entire company, on it. Uh, and that's been part of our mantra. You know, we, don't, we have not taken our experience and spread it out over lots of different platforms because uh, we've decided to put a lot of time and energy on design and thinking about each platform. Uh, and that means we'll move to each platform more slowly than, than um, some might like, but ultimately it will have a higher quality product, I think, as a result. Oh, yeah. High, high quality is, uh, is, I think, is, uh, is a very low way to describe what, what you do. <laughs> it's just amazing. So before coming back to the iPad, uh, how many users, before we talk, I'm sorry, about your next app, how many yeah. users do you have? Do you communicate on these downloads? Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're somewhere in the 4.5 million range right now. In terms four and of and half users. million. Active users? Uh, well, no, those are downloads. Uh, users, I mean, they're, they're all on one platform. Uh, How many iPads have been sold? They're about, well, I don't know, I don't remember the exact number uh, that they said in their analyst call. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 million iPads. So we're, we're somewhere in one, to ten, one out of every 10 iPads right now. 10% penetration. Right. Wow. Right. 
90% of people don't have it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you so, can see it that way. That's and right. And so you announced today, and you're, you know, just, you know, for us, you've, you've scheduled the launch today. So, yes, we did, especially uh, for the web. Thank you, Mike, for, of your iPhone app. Yes. That's hot. Yes. Can, you sh can you show us? I, I would love to show you. I think we have it here. I think you should be just careful on... I got the on experience the, this on morning the, uh, on the, okay. exactly the cable. All right. So let's see if we can uh, switch to that. I'll, I'll hold the cable if you okay, like. Okay, great. Yeah. There you go. Well, let me, show you, let me show you what it's like when you first launch Flipboard on the iPhone. Can you see... Are we getting this on a... We should be projector getting... Projector here? Okay. Well, we're getting it with this. Um, so what I want to show oh, you here... Oh, here, it's, it's uh, actually... Also here, Let, let's switch to, oh, to, the, to the high quality version. Uh, Sabine, if you can switch the, the video to, to the direct connection of the iPhone, that would be much better. Okay, can you see that? Okay. Oh, it's here, it's me. Great, there you go. <laughs> How many of you have had a chance to see Flipboard for the iPhone yet? Okay, good. So I'll, you guys, this is all but I think new stuff. I tried this morning, and it's not there yet. You know, the app, it's a universal binary, and it's a little bit bigger. Oh. We have this cool moving photograph in the app, which does mean that it adds more size, and so it's taken longer for it to propagate around the Apple servers around the world. I see. So people have been searching for it and not being able to find it, or it downloads only halfway, and then they have to uh, delete it and, and try to re-download. Um, but uh, yeah, but it is gradually getting out there, and uh, I'm sure that you should be able to download it, if not now, within the next few hours. Sure. So this is, the, this is Flipboard for the iPhone. This is the first thing you'll see when you launch the app. And you can see there's this cool little moving photograph. The, there's a woman sort of surveying the landscape, the cityscape there. When the wind blows, it sort of lifts up that page. And that's to show you that on the iPhone, you flip vertically. This is a, this is a very important uh, change that we made, obviously. We, didn't do this lightly, but we felt that when you're holding your phone in one hand, this vertical motion is what you do all the time. Think about all the time, all the apps you use to scroll. It's a constant motion that you do. Your thumb is used to doing that. You hold onto the phone tightly when you do that. When you try to scroll across the screen or swipe across the screen, you don't hold onto the phone as tightly. You might drop it, uh, and it just doesn't feel as natural. So we decided to go with a vertical flip. We also, and you'll see, we wanted to create a, a more of a sense of a little closer to your timelines. All timelines you see are always arranged vertically. And uh, so we wanted on the iPhone to try, to try to preserve that notion. So when I flip past here, I can go and either sign into my account or I can go ahead and get started with a new flipboard. So I'm just going to build a new flipboard here. Um, I'll pick design, photography. Oh, so you build your own environment. Exactly. Wow. You kind of pick your own categories here to get started. This is something new to kind of get people up and running. Um, you know, travel, we're in Paris, so let's pick style. And maybe, you know, politics, it's a presidential year coming up, and uh, home. Here, too, and, the U.S. Uh, and uh, France as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so now when I hit done, uh, well, let's see if I have network. It should build my Flipboard. Yeah. I Let me just double check that and make sure I hop onto the correct network here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Don't look at this. <laughs> I, I'm not sure you should. We're going to have to change the password now. <laughs> Don't sign on to that network. What do we do? <laughs> sorry. Sabine, I think we might have a problem with a. With a protected Wi-Fi yeah, on the stage. It's not so. working anyway. See, that was the wrong <laughs> password. All right, you know what I'll do is I'll do a realistic demo. I'll just switch to, I'm going to switch, switch Wi-Fi off and go to 3G. Let's try All that. Right, let's try that. Uh, okay. So let's see if uh, I'm done here. And let's see if it builds my Flipboard. Take it, it'll be a little slower because we're on 3G. But here okay. we go. So here's my Flipboard. And uh, what I can do now is uh, flip through. I can see, you can see these are the tiles that I selected. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've got all the ones up there. Um, so I can go here to travel, for example, and just flip through. Now, you'll notice that what we've done here is we've taken each of the posts, and we've actually, rather than having pages, since we don't have a big screen here, we have cards. And we arrange the cards in a stack, and you just, we lay out the content in different ways. Sometimes this there's one item per card, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's four depending on the type of content. This is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And, and then if I want to go look at one of these articles, like I can just tap the article here. Now, we also, you, we've partnered, of course, with National Geographic and a whole bunch of other partners to 
make their content look amazing, paginate it, and, and really make it look beautiful. So here you can see, I can just sort of flip through. This is his National Geographic, and I can just kind of flip through these articles or these, these pages. Now, what's really nice, too, is that there's 45 photos in here. So let's say I just want to just kind of quickly scan. I can just kind of wow. just kind of quickly scan like that. Is that cool? And if I want to go and see, you know, like this, this monkey here, I can tap on that and, you know, pinch to zoom in. It's really beautiful. And there's a, it's a real tactile feel. You just kind of quickly go through. If I want to go back, you know, one of the um, standards on the iPhone is you can tap the status bar to go to the top, and it just brings you all the way back up to the top. Isn't that cool? So it really feels like a stack of cards that you're holding. And uh, now and there's you're a really you're spending incredible amount of time with your team to make those things right. Oh, absolutely. This has been a design odyssey. Um, it was uh, not easy to do this, that is for sure. But Keep we're going. really happy. So, so there's a very nice swipe gesture. You can't see what I'm doing here with my thumb, but I just kind of swipe across the screen. I can hit the back button, of course, but we wanted to make it very easy. You can tap in, swipe back, tap in, swipe back. Very, very easy to, to go in and out of feeds. Uh, let me show you something else that's really cool here. This is something we call cover stories. This is a new feature we're shipping on the iPhone and we'll eventually have on our iPad edition. What this is is a way to survey across all of the tiles that you've got on your Flipboard, and ultimately all of your social networks, and actually pick out the stories that are the most interesting. Um, and this is a line, this is, the, this is the feed that you want to use when you're standing in line at like a coffee shop or at an airport or something, or when you're waiting in traffic to get here to the web. Um, and so you tap cover stories here, and you can see, um, again, uh, these articles are really nicely rendered. And uh, sometimes they're full screen, like this beautiful one here from 500 pixels. Sometimes it's an article like this. I can keep going. Let's just keep going here a little bit. Uh, so here you can see one that's uh, two items per in one card. Uh, How do you, you manage know. the different social and networks integration in there? Because sometimes yeah. it's like Facebook, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's Facebook, sometimes. In fact, let me switch over, because that's where the magic really starts to happen. I haven't connected this yet to my social networks. Um, let me go over and show you Flipboard connected to now oh, all that my was, social networks. That was, without any that was just without connecting wow. to any social so networks. So you have an editorial team that is selecting content. Well, actually, everything you saw there was coming from Twitter. Okay. All the Twitter public feeds. So you select for me, even if I'm not signed up, sign in on Twitter. That's, that's right. You can select the categories you want. And what those categories are are actually just Twitter lists mm. uh, that we curate. Uh, and uh, we feature all sorts of different, really interesting looking content. Uh, now, this is my, um, my Flipboard. Um, it's logged in with my account. It's synced up with my iPad. So if I add something here, it will add over here and, and vice versa. Uh, and here I'll go into my cover stories. Now, you'll see right away, this is actually really amazing. So this, in this case, this is my co-founder, Evan Dahl. He posted a picture of his son and his grandmother uh, on uh, on, on Instagram. And uh, you can see here, I, I, there's a little heart there. I can just tap that, and it likes it immediately. This was something that we were very, felt very strongly about, just that single tap to like something. You can favorite this right on Twitter. Just, you'll, you'll find yourself favoriting an insane number of things. Um, and, uh, and we try to put in social context in here. So why did it become a cover story? So for example, this case, it's at Flipboard headquarters. There's two likes. There's a comment here. This is actually from... How many people do you have? Uh, 50 people in the company. Wow. And uh, so this is, our, this is our team getting ready. There's Evan giving a, a little talk before we went live uh, this morning while I was here in Paris. Marcy uh, there is holding up the phone. I'm on FaceTime there, actually. <laughs> and uh, so let me just flip through. Sorry. Good. Yeah, well, these are, these are tweets now. You can see we've got three tweets on the page. So again, we, we try to lay out content on each card uh, based on the type of content. And this creates a sense of rhythm and flow, right? So here you can see some text wrapping around an image. Um, this is, this is um, you can see the actual tweet here. You can retweet if you want. You can favorite. But you can't share a tweet on Facebook and vice versa. Right? Well, no, I can. I can say, you know, let me go ahead and share this on Facebook. And I can just tap over here and say, let's Great. put it on Facebook. And it'll and type a message and it'll, it'll post it on Facebook for me. Um, do you have a Le Web magazine on the Yes, we do yes. have Le Web magazine. And, That's uh, an amazing work. I, have you seen it? In fact, in fact uh, yes, it's beautiful. It's and incredible. So Jean-Marie and, and, uh, and his team 
of uh, Photopedia. Yeah, I've partnered with you in secret. I didn't even know. Yes, <laughs> so is that, I, I've read it was the first ever magazine for an event, you know, on Flipboard. And yeah, it, it, well, the idea is to is to have something that is created uh, on the fly with you know photojournalists around here taking pictures. And again, you can see these. You know, you can just kind of flip through these wow. these pictures here, and. Uh, and, um, and this is a tweet, right? So I can retweet it, I can favorite it, just like anything else. And here you'll see sometimes things will be cross-posted, you know, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And in those instances, you'll actually you can go into the comments and you can see all the comments will be pulled together from Facebook and Instagram in one place. Um, it's really quite nice. Um, so that's cover stories. It pulls together all the most interesting things that your friends are sharing with you. We have a sense for who matters to you based on your activity interaction levels with them. Uh, and we're going to be refining and honing that over time. And uh, the more you use it, the smarter it gets. How, how can people, like, there is a lot of media in, uh, in the room, too. And so how can they get, like, how, how can we get Elle France or, or yeah. Paris Match or yeah. integrated? Are you doing that? Are you partnering with the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, we've partnered with about 60 content providers. In, in Europe? In, uh, well, in general. Yeah, uh, in general. Okay. Uh, with some in Europe. Uh, BBC, Telegraph, The Guardian, uh, Grazio. Um, and uh, in fact, I can show you here, um, I can tap on this little search icon and it'll bring down our content guide and I can go take a look at this week's features. And you can see we've got the web magazine, uh, BBC News here, etc. We also, by the way, just came out with a uh, content guide just for France. So uh, uh, if you're, if you, if you're uh, using this in France, you'll actually see all local curated oh, content. Wow for France, we're going to start doing that. We did that in China. We came out with a Chinese release a couple days and don't, ago. Don't they see you somehow as competition? Because you're repackaging their content. Well, what we and do... And they don't get the traffic, right? Yeah, well, let's, let's take a look at, let's say, Rolling Stone here. Mm -hmm. um, so what we do is we make their content look amazing. It's their web content that they have today that they monetize with banner ads. Uh, and as you know, banner ads don't really do a good job at monetizing content. And so what we're trying to do is replace those banner ads with full page print style ads. And to do that, you have to paginate the content. So what we have here are some things on Rolling Stone. And if I go and tap into, let's say, this article here, uh, you'll see it'll have that kind of look and feel of, of Rolling Stone. And these articles are paginated. And so you can imagine a full page print style ad could be there. We do that on the you iPad today. We do it on today. the iPad already, yeah. Yes, we just don't do it on the iPhone just is yet. That, is but that good revenue for you? Uh, well, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's uh, first of all, great revenue for the publishers. They're the ones that sell the ads. They can sell them for 10 to 15 times what they sell banner ads for. And then we get a percentage of that revenue. What, what percentage? We don't announce what, that. What, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> and how, how much are the ads? Uh, well, it depends on the readership and the, and the publisher. Um, they all have different rates, uh, but they, they tend to map to their print advertising rates. Same, um, same as a paper ad. You've reinvented basically. That, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to preserve the beauty and economics of print advertising uh, in an online setting. Hmm. And how is, what, what's your revenue? Uh, well, we do have some revenue. It's, it's not really um, uh, significant right now. We're but just getting going. Uh, I think next year we, we should have some pretty good numbers that we'll be able to put up. Um, and uh, you know, I think it's going to be a pretty good business. No rush, right? No rush, though. I mean, we're, we're focused on Quality. building a great experience, get starting to scale to other platforms and countries and things like that. If someone shows up and wants to buy a, an ad which will be crappy, what, what do you say? You say, if no, they, thanks. Uh, yeah, like a bad, you know, an uh, ad. Some bad, some bad no, looking I ads. Mean, we, well, we curate the ads. That's great. We, curate we try to ads. curate the ads. We can do that within, within reason. Um, uh, publishers have, have this too. The editor in chief of a magazine will decide whether an ad should run next to an article or not. And, uh, and so we do some of that as well. We hired a really great guy named Josh Quitner, who was uh, editorial director at Time, uh, is our editorial director here at, at Flipboard. And uh, he's. Um, uh, he's wonderful. He was also the editor-in-chief at Business 2.0, and so he really knows how to put together uh, content. And we're not creating our own content, but we are sort of assembling content from lots of publishers in really interesting packages. So I, I would spend hours with you, Mike. You know that. <laughs> I actually enjoy it so much. Um, and, and so the problem is we have to move on to, uh, to our next speaker. Yes, just absolutely. To, just to conclude with, um, or, uh, is there anything else you'd, you'd like to... Um, no, I think that's. I think you covered it. It's so, where are you going? Where, where do you sit in in a few years? How is uh, what is Flipboard going to be? Do you think you're going to? Uh... 
Well, I think um, you know what we're hoping to do is is just continue to build an experience that um, starts to reflect a new kind of browsing for a new kind of web. It's a social web. You you know this well. It's a well, the web that existed in 1995 is very different than the web that exists now. It's not just pages pointing to other pages. It's people pointing to people and people pointing to content. And that allows you to do some magical things. You can assemble content in the fly. You can put together the web magazine very, very quickly, for example. All of these, this Rolling Stone thing, for example, is all done via Twitter. It's just simply rendering their Twitter feed. And so what we're hoping to do is create a new kind of social browser, if you will. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep working on that and making it better and better. When is Android coming? Excuse me? Android? Android, well. Is uh, it my accent I, or you just <laughs> don't know the platform? I, I, uh, I made the mistake of announcing our, when our iPhone uh, release would ship, and I was off by about five months. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. But you started Android. Uh, no, no. We, we, it we, looks we, like we, you we've started. Been focused, we've been focused on uh, <laughs> iPhone. Now we'll, we'll take a step back and see what we should do next. With but our you're planning to do Android? We'll see. <laughs> I, I tried and I failed. <laughs> I failed. Well, Mike, thank you so much for coming My all pleasure. the way from San Francisco here to meet My us. My pleasure. It was a real pleasure to be share, here. Share this amazing iPhone app, and uh, and it's, it's going to be. How many downloads do you expect? Did you did you do you think about that already? Um, I honestly don't know what you to expect. Know. But what we've seen already is that on the network side, anyway, and this could just be because we just announced, but our. Our network traffic already surpassed our iPad traffic. So we'll see. Well, it's a bigger, yeah. It's a much bigger market, yeah. Good luck, Mike. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming from so far away. Just Thank for you very us. much. Thank Thanks. you, Mike. Thank you.